Hey guys, Mark here. Today we are talking about having two amps and one set of speakers. Surprisingly, a common problem for audiophiles and one for probably a couple of years I found it very difficult to solve. You've got three options. You can build your own, you can buy a switching box, or you can just use banana plugs ideally to change in and out your speaker cables between the amps, which is not ideal. In my opinion, this is the easiest way to go. So if you're not a super DIY fan like me, in terms of getting out soldering iron and then putting wires and things and buying switches and steel boxes and constructing stuff, uh, the option one of building your own really isn't much of an option. Uh, if you're into buying things that just work off the shelf for an affordable price to do what you need to do, then this will do the trick and I'll run through a couple of options for you in terms of switching boxes. And the third option is obviously doing those banana plugs, which in my opinion isn't really an option. A, you know, if you've got a nice tidy hi-fi setup, you're around the back, you're pulling banana plugs in and out, it's wear and tear on your amp unit, it's just a bit of a faff and it makes it quite hard for you to effectively always have nice tidy wiring behind your, uh, your audio setup if that's what you're into. So this box, is uh, the one that um, comes in around 50 60 bucks US uh, it can take two amps in and then send that sound to uh, uh, one pair of speakers for an example I have a, a, a had a uh, had a Yamaha now I have a Denon uh, AVR X 4500H amp which is fantastic for surround sound and uh, it's beautiful for 5.1 um, seven, it can get right up to 9.2 great amp but in terms of the hi-fi sound i have another denon amp which i kind of prefer a little bit just for stereo audio you might have a phono or a record player uh, with an amp that you love for for just listening to records which goes to the same set of speakers because perhaps you found your end game speakers or you just love your speakers or you can't fit two speakers in the space. So say a living room or something where either you don't have approval to have more than one set of speakers or you don't need one set of more than one set of speakers. So that is um, the perfect opportunity to use one of these. So one for record player, maybe one for surround sound. You know, maybe you're an audio file and you have, you know, an amp for uh, your just a, a digital DAC uh, player like a, uh, a Khan or an Astle and Kern Khan, something similar like that, maybe the new Sony uh, DAT player, and you want to use the DAT into that amp, and then you want to use record into that, I don't really know. Generally, you're going to have like a 5.1 or surround sound system, and then you're going to have something that you want just for really nice stereo. You know what you, what you need is, I don't need to tell you. So this is the um, SP71 from Specialty AV. You can get it online. It seems to sell out quite quickly every time they get it in. Uh, and it's quite simple. Uh, I'll show you the front first. You've really just got uh, your amp switching switches uh, between A and B. Now when you're buying these, the important thing that you need to make sure of, which generally they should all do correctly, is they need to be full off before on. They need to break the circuit before they switch into the new circuit. If you try and buy wire two amps into your into your speakers, or if the switches don't uh, force off before they force on, meaning they completely disconnect the circuit, then you run the risk of shorting things out. The signal will possibly run down uh, the cable as it crosses over and hit two amps. You don't want that happening. So with these switching, these switches do fully switch off before they switch on. So that's switching. So you'd go, I don't know, I mean, if you really wanted to, you could do a, a test between uh, that amp and that amp to that speaker and that speaker. But for all intents and purposes, let's just be sensible and say, we're gonna run amp A, and let's say you finish listening to music on amp A, and then everybody wants to watch a movie, so you come in and switch that to amp B, which could be your surround sound stereo. Now, this is uh, designed for really just your uh, front left and right speakers only it's not designed to do anything fancy with surrounds or anything but again it's a simple need so you've got your left and right so you'd connect your uh, wires from your first amp left and right speakers to here and on your second amp your left and right speakers to here and then your speakers your left and right speakers would plug into here and that's the switch the quality of this is great it's steel box it's got some nice rubber feet on the bottom to reduce any kind of impact. This sits very nicely just on top of your amp. 
um, and does a great job. So in my opinion, it's a bit of a winner if you just want a amp AB switching box. Now, you can level up from this to a slightly more expensive model, the TC7220. The 7220 will allow you to switch between two amps and two speakers if that's what you need. Uh, that's a great unit, you just gotta pay a little bit more for it. It's been around for quite a long time. Both of these are very well rated. The third option that you have is a unit for really uh, available from what I've seen in the UK only. So if you can't, if you're in the UK and you can't get the SP71, which is uh, prevalent in North America, USA, Canada, you can get the uh, the Dynavox unit, which is also a good switching unit, uh, very similar price. I'll put links to the 71, the 7220, and the Dynavox below, um, so that if you want to check them out in more detail, you can. Uh, if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below. If I've missed something, I'm sure you'll let me know as well. Uh, but have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon about some more geeky stuff.